Like if there were clones, mm -hmm. it wouldn't really be a person. Hey everybody, I am here today inside because it's chilly out and I like wearing tank tops and I don't wanna be outside in a tank top. So we're gonna practice some inside stuff, huh? Don't kiss me. I'm gonna practice cardistry, which is when you do something that looks like that, but much better. And I'm excited. Lemon's gonna sit down like a good dog. You wanna come up here? My roommate is here, Dan. He's helping me not feel awkward talking to myself. <laughs> What's up, Dan? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> cardistry. Uh, I haven't practiced cardistry very much. I tried it like a couple times. <laughs> Swear if you bark during my video, then I mean, we're gonna have a hard time. That's what I thought. So I've practiced cardistry a few times in the past, like three years ago, and I didn't really get that good at it. I was able to do kind of one trick semi-decently. <laughs> My men. <laughs> it's just, you can't when we're filming the thing. You see, we push to record. Barking is for after record. Okay? All right. So I only got good at one trick, and good is a strong word. I was able to do kind of this one trick where I do that, and I felt better than that when I caught it. I caught it. And so I thought it would be really fun to get back into it and give it a try and practice a little bit. <laughs> and, you know, we'll see how it goes. So welcome to this video. I actually, I got these cards a couple years ago from my friend Sean. These are the Orbit deck, very cool. But, and as, as much as I like them, I kinda wanna have a cooler set of cards, no offense. And so I realized that I have Pokemon cards, which is just the best. And I don't ever get to do anything with them because nobody plays Pokemon anymore, or at least nobody that I know. Or they would think it's weird that a grown woman would be playing with them. So I just keep them. And this seemed like a good opportunity to actually practice <laughs> and play with my Pokemon cards. But uh, I, I realized I should probably count out the actual amount that's in a deck. How many cards are in a deck? 52. 52? I was going to say 48. That's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 41, 42, 43, 9, 50, 51, 52. Does 52 include the Jokers? No. How do you know so much about cards? I just know that one because we used to play 52 card pickup. Yeah. And that's just throwing all the cards on the floor and making somebody pick up. Yeah, but it doesn't include the jokers? I don't. You know what? Don't quote me on that. Yeah. That's what I meant. See? Dan acting like he knows. He doesn't know. He's probably right, though. 52. Look at this. 52 Pokemon cards ready to go. And some of them are shiny holographic. A lot of them are just uh, copies of each other because I don't actually have a good set of <laughs> Pokemon cards. I think most of them are from Detective Pikachu. I think a lot of them I stole from you, Dan. But you didn't want them anyway. It's fine. I guess not anymore. Nope. <laughs> it does not include jokers. Ah, you looked it up. This is why Dan's here. And for moral support. So, yeah, as you can see here, I've got my favorite Pokemon. They're helping, or they're going to. <laughs> Growl this. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just gonna start practicing this game. It's not a game, it's a skill. I'm gonna practice the skill. <laughs> I know, I know it's scary. The look on your face right now is It's okay. She can hear the Amazon guy, but he's not trying to kill us. I know you think he is, but he's not. All right, so I'm gonna, I did look up a few tricks beforehand, but I'm gonna look up the, or I'm gonna just practice the one that I know, which is this, I'm just gonna practice it like this. That's not right. You can't do it either, Dan. <laughs> Give me that look. Aren't you immediately good at it? Because I haven't practiced. Of course you just nail one. Yes. 
So yeah, I, all I remember, Sean showed this to me. It was like, pull it out, put it like this. Whoop. It's such a fine motor skill. I'm not good at it. And then flick it. So. Nailed it. <laughs> and then you do it from a deck. I'm pretty good at this for not having done it for years. I think so. It's just like, ooh, you want to see a trick? Nailed it. How many did I drop? I dropped two. That's why we have extras. Jigglypuff. You know what this reminds me of is that um, short short film that we did that we never released. Do, we, do you remember that? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> only had like a couple. It's not like I have a really big habit of starting things and not finishing them. <laughs> no, the one with the, um, the Pokemon Let's Go Away. You remember? Let's go away. Yeah, we filmed like a whole thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, we finished one fully and I, I just never released it. So we can, you know, we can cut to it right now. It's pretty awesome. Dan is a visual effects artist and he's got skills. So he helped. God, this is so hard. He helped with the skills. At least got to squirt your friend in the face. Yeah, with a water bottle. This is really funny. <laughs> and Pokemon are just the best. I love Pokemon so much. I wonder if there's going to be a lot of people who are really into cardistry watching this, and you're going to yell at me for using Pokemon cards because they're not like, they don't react the same way. But I wanted to use the Pokemon cards. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you got to make it fun for you. Exactly. If you don't like what you're doing, change it. Wow, this one is really surprisingly hard. I mean, I've only been practicing it for like two minutes, but... Gosh. All right, I'm gonna come back to that one. But uh, the other one I remember learning that Sean taught me was this like, cutting the deck. I don't know what it's actually called. It might just be called cutting the deck, <laughs> but it's surprisingly hard because you have to like hold it up here and cut it perfectly in half and then not drop it, not drop it. I'll get really good at this. Just you wait. I should probably do it with my right hand. Why am I trying to do it with my left hand? <laughs> that didn't go much better. God, I'm like, these are so foreign to me. I am not good at cards. I don't, <laughs> I don't like, I mean, I like them. I like learning anything, but like juggling, there's just, there's just a couple objects and you, all you have to do is keep track of three, maybe seven objects. There's 52, as I've learned, of these. And why are they backwards? You accidentally flipped them real fast a second ago. Um. Of you gotta, you gotta tell me about that, Dan. You can't well, I mean, I kind of, let me look like an idiot. It's in your hand. It's... I'm gonna look stupid. <laughs> All right, come on. Like, I want to be able to just do this really quick, and I feel like I, I can get there if I could learn how to cut it in half. There we go. Why is that happening? Well, it seems like one's getting away from you. Yeah. It. Alright. Hey! This is gonna be super frustrating. <laughs> I, I think I'm remembering now why I did not practice this very much. And now I've lost track of 52. Aww. 
You know what? I think I remember Sean saying that I, I didn't have to use all of them anyway. If I wanted to make it easier, I could use half. So I don't know how many that is. I'm gonna guess it's like 38. Why does that keep happening? I'm like focusing like a, it's like pushing the, don't do that. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Hey, <laughs> I'm getting better. Oh yeah. They get all stuck together. Yes. This is starting to feel more comfortable now. <laughs> so if I just pulled it out and I was like, I still think it would be impressive. It's doing good. I know. I mean. I know. <laughs> you can't do it. Nobody else can do it. Yeah, no, A lot I mean, of people can do it. My arthritis riddled hands could never achieve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite Pokemon. He's helping me. That's all I want in life is like a puppy Pokemon that I can, that's fire. Like, I have a puppy, and you're great, but you're not a fi you can't shoot fire out of your hands. Well, not hands. You can't, I don't think you can shoot fire as possible. You can't shoot fire out of any part of your body. And that's the only thing about you I don't like, Lemon. So work on that, and my dreams will come true. Yes. It was good seeing him come to life in the Detective Pikachu movie. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were little puppies. I didn't like, though, that they were, like, they were very foofy. It's the only word I can think of. <laughs> like little Pomeranians. They were little Pomeranians, and Pomeranians are my least favorite dogs. I do not like Pomeranians. They're scary with their dead eyes. And Growliths do not have dead eyes. They have normal eyes, um, but they didn't make them have dead eyes in the movie, which was totally fine. But they did uh, make them walk very like, which is just not how a Growlithe would walk, mm -hmm. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. How will you ever be able to recover from riding one and let's go Eevee? Oh, it was so great. Let's go Eevee and, well, you couldn't ride it. Yeah, Let's Go Eevee was a great game that way and people don't give Let's Go Eevee enough credit because or Let's Go Pikachu, whichever one you play. Um, people don't give it enough credit because it's like, you know, just a remake of the original. But first of all, the original is really good. So a remake with like better graphics is awesome. Let me practice my left hand. Uh, and then on top of that, the uh, being able to ride the Pokemon is the best thing in the world. So that was a dream come true. And then in the new game, which I forgot the name of because my memory sucks. Sword and, Shield. Sword and Shield. I didn't play Sword and Shield as much just because I haven't had time recently. But uh, in the new game, you got to actually pet and play with your Growlithe. And I was so excited, which is just, the, it's just happy. <laughs> Meanwhile, my real dog is just staring at me like, please pet and play with me. <laughs> I'm a very good owner. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it with both hands at the same time. I feel like I'm fine, like, I can do this one. Wait, I have to hold it this way. It's confusing. These are very small. Don't, don't. Starting to don't bark. All right, that felt good. I feel good about that. That was really good. So I pulled up a tutorial earlier and I really wanted to learn this thing called the Ben Wade. I don't know who Ben Wade is and I don't know why he has a trick, but uh, I really wanna, I wanna learn how to do it. So I'm gonna try to learn how to do it. It looked like it's some sort of trick this looks like too many cards. That looks like 52. That doesn't look like 52. That looks like 52. It's something like, 
pulling all these pieces out. Oh man, I gotta start from the beginning. You shouldn't skip around tutorials. That's, that's something we've learned. Okay, so we start by doing this and this. We pull that one up. What? <laughs> Just go slower, magic hand man. For any tutorials I ever use, I'll link to them in the description, by the way. So if you want to also learn and be confused, you can do that. So here's one. Holding that. And then there's two. Looking good. Nope. Lost it. Okay. What? The look on your face is hilarious. <laughs> I'm not, I can't see the video, but I'm sure it's crazy. <laughs> I just... You know, I hate it when tutorials are like, here's this for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna just do the last bit really fast, because that's not the part that you have trouble with, clearly. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> okay. I got that part, and then I don't know what happened after that. This is, this is why I make tutorials, because I get annoyed the fact that I don't like tutorials. So someday I will make all of them and it'll be fine. And everyone will learn better. I'll take over <laughs> I'm gonna take over the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna take it all over. Who's your favorite Pokemon, Dan? Oh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo? It says, down. says a lot about you as a person. <laughs> what? Absolute I power. <laughs> I feel like people who like Mewtwo are people who like power and uh, feel like they don't belong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's like the closest you're gonna get to Dragon Ball Z within the world of Pokemon. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. I know. I disappoint Dan on a <clears throat> daily basis with the fact that I've never watched anime. Well, I can't blame you. It's like 700 episodes or something ridiculous with like 20 movies and still going. So, you know, where do you even begin? Yes! Is that it? I don't even think that's the full trick. <laughs> it's just, it's the... <laughs> the first part or like the intro to the trick. So that's one, two, three. Nice. I know. I know. It's pretty cool. So if I can get it smooth, I think that's it. No. Yeah, I think your favorite Pokemon says a lot about you as a person. For me, my favorite Pokemon is a puppy who is also really powerful, but in like a secret way. Like if you saw him, you'd be like, oh, puppy, but then he could burn your hands off, mm -hmm. which is exactly how I think I am as a person. Yeah. Like I mean, you know. Every guy who's dated me knows this. It's true. They think the teeth might be enough, but then the fire really brings it home. Yeah. You should should regret hurting Growlithe. <laughs> it's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. So, Ben Wade. Who is Ben Wade, I wonder? What's his favorite Pokemon? I tried to look him up. Does he, he come up? He doesn't have, I mean, a ton comes up. He doesn't have a wiki though, so somebody should make that ASAP. That's super sad. It's a poor guy. I mean, I think it doesn't. I haven't found it yet. Can you imagine having a whole trick named after you in one of the tutorials on the internet and have no wiki. All right, so I think I've got that. Oh man, he does that really smooth. So he just picks it up and immediately it's doing this. I hope you guys can see what's happening. Like, you know, I'm still figuring out this method of video. Um, you know, if you like it, let me know. How is it, you know, how's it feel to you guys? Also, if you want to have, if you have a specific like skill that you want to see me practice and learn besides cardistry, because we all want to see that, uh, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm, I would love to see. No. Backflips. I don't want to learn backflip. Stop trying to get me to break my back. Dan suggests that I do a backflip like every day. Oh, learn how to break dance. <sighs> You know, one of my good friends break danced for a lot of his life and now he needs a hip replacement, so. I mean, I'll probably need one anyway. I'm gonna have arthritis in my hands. Okay. 
So here's one. I think this is the real Ben Wade. Okay. So we're here. Yep. Whoa. Woo. That's nice. That's some magic. Like Mr. Mime. <laughs> He's magic, right? Yes. He's creepy. Yes, he is. Yes. He was super creepy in Detective Pikachu. He really was. But I think that they did a really good job, like, uh, being aware of it. I don't know if you guys have seen Detective Pikachu, but if you haven't, you should. It's very, very satisfying. And the scene with Mr. Mime is hilarious. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> what does he say? Something like, um, I push people away and then hate them for, or resent them for leaving. Resent them for leaving. <laughs> Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Talk, you stupid mind! Right. So I'm just gonna practice that and try to get it really smooth. One, two, nope. <laughs> I feel like I lost some of the finesse right there at the end. I just score close enough. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. I think also I'm missing something with this like nice, I think when people start this trick, yeah, so they're starting it by like, you lift it up. Oh, you're doing it with the middle finger. Hmm, that's nice. So you lift it up and then you lift up again. No. This video might be really stupid. <laughs> It's just gonna be Taylor not knowing what she's doing. I think I just need to start with that one that I was doing. I can't I can't remember how to do it now. It's so confusing. Why is cardistry so hard? Yeah, learning's pretty rough. I feel like though it's gotta be one of these skills where it's really hard at the beginning, like just to figure out what you're supposed to do. But then once you do, you can, um, you can just muscle memory practice it, which is what I wanna do. I wanna get to the point where I can muscle memory practice it. Okay, so step one, you split the deck. You hold them like this. Step two. Why is there three? Where's the third one? Oh. It's that. And then you split again, and then you do this and this. It's back, I remember. I'm, I'm a genius. See, and someday I'm gonna be good at this and people are gonna be like, man, you used to really suck. And I'll say, yeah, yeah. Things change. Do you think there's a whole like generation of kids who have never seen the old Pokemon and have only seen like the movie? Absolutely. Well, that's weird to think about because it's been around so long, but yeah, it's like, it's kind of like the Star Wars movies. It's like, there's a generation that grew up on the originals and then the generation that grew up on the prequels. And they think about it really differently. <laughs> I definitely am that generation. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that my favorite episode is not in the original trilogy, but I'm gonna say that. So maybe we'll talk about that next time. <laughs> they eagerly wanna know what you think about Star Wars. <laughs> episode uh, one may or may not be my favorite episode. And I will, I will gladly <laughs> talk about it. All right. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna just, I'm not giving up on the Pokemon, but I feel like maybe I should also be learning with regular cards. There's a whole part of the audience that just went, yes. I know, right? They're all just like, finally, oh, it's driving me crazy. It's like when I see people practice um, juggling with like those crappy little bean bags. They're the worst. How? You get the real experts out there that are like, the texture matters. I think it probably does. It like, absolutely I mean, does. you can feel 
that it's different. And there's this trick that I also want to try in this video that he does where it's like the angel trick. <gasps> it's that. That was easy. Literally first time I've ever done this before. Hey! I'm so magic. So it's just like... <laughs> Someday I'll get really smooth at it. <laughs> and I'll... So... 90% being smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Magic is super hard. It's not magic. Cardistry is not magic, but... Do you think confidence plays a part? Oh, like, probably. And you sell it? if that's true, um, I'm in for a hard time because I'm not confident. This is pretty cool, though. Like, that's a cool trick. I just have to, like, not make it so obvious that I'm... Uh -huh. But I don't think that's possible with a Pokemon card. Growlithe is a better Pokemon than you two. Mewtwo isn't even technically a Pokemon, like... I know, he's above all those other Pokemon because he's the best one. I... I feel like it's like saying... Like, if there were clones, mm -hmm. it wouldn't really be a person. <laughs> I think that's a really... That's a much bigger debate. <laughs> I think it's true. I think that... <laughs> although I guess it's... Cut to 20 years from now and we find out that clones have been... This is one of those things that, you know how like people say horrible things, uh, like said horrible things in the 80s and now they're famous <laughs> yeah. and now, and now like their whole yeah. lives are being destroyed they because just, of like that, that, one video. <laughs> that like homophobic tweet they said in the 80s. This would somehow be the equivalent of that. Oh, and I would be God. like, I didn't know that clones were going to be I real. I didn't. They're always the bad guys I, in movies. I take it back. They're real people. I swear. <laughs> I swear they are. But I, I do, I, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that clones would be considered cool. My camera died. So that's why there's a cut there. I totally noticed really quickly. And I didn't just go on a whole rant about clones. <laughs> <laughs> but no, basically all I said was I take it back. I think that they're real people. Yeah. Uh, clone rights, yeah. 2037. Except when they make an army out of them, and then they invade everyone and yeah. kill all the Jedi. But no, they didn't, no. They totally killed all the Jedi. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't their fault. It wasn't because they were clones. It, yeah, it was because they were programmed to... Oh. It's tough. Clones aren't people. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. It's going to be in, like, 2059. The people are going to be like... She said horrible things about clones and she shouldn't be a... Uh, I, I, I promise somebody's going to chime in and go, well, clearly she didn't watch the Clone Wars animated TV series where it's established that the clones are... And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I did not watch the anime. I don't like watching cartoons. She doesn't like cartoons, guys. I, I'm not perfect. Boy, I can't get her to watch anything. Like, I can't be perfect. That's my one flaw. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> one. <laughs> right? The one. It's the one flaw. As somebody who has lived with me for a while. It's like, I will never want to watch Akira no matter how many times you suggest I it. I just don't like cartoons. It's because when I was growing up, my mom didn't like cartoons. And whenever I would turn on a cartoon, she'd be like, Ugh, cartoons. Mm. And it just subconsciously made me go, Ugh, cartoons. Mm. When I turn on cartoons, people don't like me. <laughs> And so that's that's what, where we are. Oh no. <laughs> um, why can't I do this? Okay. I, like there's such an element of smoothness, right? Because when I see people do this, you know they're like, like super fast. They're not sitting here being like. They gotta start somewhere. I know that, but I feel like that that alone is just taking me forever. So I know I think this is the the main. Set up one, two, three, four. And I know that this isn't even the full trick. This is just like three quarters of Ben Wade. We're only up to like his shoulders, Dan. Yeah, 
Yeah, but you're 30 minutes in, and it's more practice than most people have put in on this today. You'll get it eventually. I know. It just takes time. I know. I believe in you. Thanks. You're doing it, Peter. <laughs> I love that movie so much. What a weird movie Hook is. It's so weird. Like, what a weird movie. My, my favorite weird moment is when the kid uh, throws his legs up and turns into a, <laughs> ball, into a and ball and they roll him down. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite weird mo moment in Hook is when Glenn Close is a scary pirate and gets put in the boo box, which I had nightmares about for most of my childhood. The boo box. The boo box. I don't want to be put in the boo box, whatever that is. And I definitely don't want to be in there with Glenn Close. So, Hook. Fantastic, yeah. terrifying movie. Oh. Thanks for adding to my childhood, Steven Spielberg. It's Spielberg, right? Yeah. Yeah. People forget about that one as a Spielberg movie. I mean, uh, it seems like a lot of people hate it, but now a lot of people love it. It's because we all grew up on and it. Again, we grew up on it. It's not like critics who saw it when it came out and was like, this is trash. It's like The Phantom Menace. And now it's really secretly really good if you grew up on it. Dan does not agree with me on this. I was nine years old and it was great. We'll talk about that next time. We'll talk about how great The Phantom Menace is. I should not just do one, okay. I can feel my brain having a hard time, like, like it's getting to the point where I'm like, I should stop practicing. So I'm just gonna recap the things that I've worked on. I definitely did not make progress at that one, apparently. So I worked on this one. <laughs> I gotta get it just once, and then I can be done with that <laughs> trick today. Like a smooth criminal. <laughs> Close enough. Dead and then, <laughs> and then I practiced. That, and that's pretty dang sweet. And then I learned for the first time, I, you probably shouldn't hold it up as long. Maybe that's, ta-da. Yeah, I learned the angel trick. And then now I've been working on the Ben Wade, three quarters Ben Wade is what I'm gonna call it, which is this. It's supposed to be more than just a card, but it's just a card, which is that. That, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Like, hey, when I started, I couldn't do this. And then that, and that. Like, that was much smoother. That was it's smooth. Yeah. I'm really proud of that. In a half hour, that's a lot of progress. I'm gonna keep working on this and maybe I'll check in next week. If you think that I should do more cardistry updates and or ranting about clones or something else, let me know. If you have a suggestion of something that you'd like me to talk about or have a question, Leave it in the comments. I'll see if I can get to it in the midst of learning epic skills like this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, it, my analytics on YouTube says that like 80% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. And that seems like a problem because that's like the majority. So if you aren't subscribed, just, just do it because I'm gonna be doing more of these videos and then you don't have to like come back and it's just, you know, it's easier for everyone, so. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep practicing this throughout the week and I'll check in next time. Nailed it. Lemon, look at the mess you made. Look at all these cards. All these valuable Pokemon cards we got for free at the movie theater during Detective Pikachu. How dare you, Lemon? Are you licking yourself? Hey. You don't do that online. You gotta be classier than that. You're a YouTube star.